Have you drank your water today? Go get some. Anyway, I'm Lara Sky. I'm an online dominatrix if you don't know me. Welcome to the peanut army, I guess. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between PVC and latex. Just a very, very quick run over. I'm by no means an expert in the manufacturing process. But a lot of people ask me what the difference is, so it's probably just easier to show you. So, if I'll hold them up close to start with. This one hasn't been shined up, so what happens with latex is normally you either store it in powder or some kind of lubricant to stop it from sticking to itself and it does become dull over time. For PVC, it will always stay the same, although you can use a shining agent on it. So, PVC latex. <laughs> I was gonna do this in black and I thought it would be easier to show you the difference. And so yeah, for the PVC, as you can see, it has stitching on it. So one of the easiest ways to tell the difference if you're looking at photographs or if you're in a shop and you're really not sure is to look and see if it's stitched. So on PVC, the inside is kind of like a stretchy fabric that's been coated in like plastic basically so that's that these are a lot easier to get on easier to take care of you can generally kind of put them in your washing machine at like a low temperature and just basically easier in every way you're less likely to rip this <laughs> than you are to rip latex. So this is latex, it's from Honor, which is now skin too. And you can see that it's made out of large pieces of latex, which are then bound. I hold that there. So there's absolutely no stitching on latex pieces. You might sometimes get rivets in them, but you should never have stitches because that would just create a hole that would tear. So latex is also a little stretchy, but in comparison to this, you can see the fabric's quite different. Latex is a lot more firm and it kind of like fits to your body better so you don't really get creases or anything it'll sit very tightly it will make you sweat a lot if it's the summer and if it's cold outside it'll make you very cold <laughs> but yeah another recommendation for latex while well, I remember is if you're going to wear latex trousers for a long time you may want to consider getting ones with a zip in them because if you have a lot of layers on, you're not getting them off to go to the toilet. At least not very easily. <laughs> and uh, with latex, you also need a dressing aid. So someone suggested to me silicone treadmill oil as a cheap alternative. You can also use water-based lube. And that's just to get it on so you need a little bit on yourself, on the garment, wherever it's kind of sticking to help you put it on. Some people like talc. I don't personally, but each to their own and then once you have it on you would shine it up generally with this but I've also heard good things about Honor's own shine although I don't know if that was sponsored so yeah to try it when you're putting on latex obviously this one has a zip in the front but quite often you will be left squeezing into it perhaps even just from like a small neck hole that you're trying to get into a full body suit. So take your time, if you have long nails, wear gloves, have someone to help you. And yeah, you can maybe go into that more another day. <laughs> I just didn't want to put latex on today, okay? Don't judge me, I'm lazy. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that helped a little bit. 
Another thing for me maybe to add here is a price difference. Something like this compared to this, you're probably looking at 10 times the price. Easily. Even my more expensive PVC, I would say maybe like 50, 60 pounds, possibly 80 at a push. Your latex could go into the thousands depending who's making it, whether it's custom sized, custom designed. So yeah, if you're just starting out, I would totally just go for a PVC. Get used to it. Invest in a couple pieces of latex that you're going to wear a lot. But yeah, I wouldn't be feeling like you had to wear latex to be part of the scene. <laughs> Whereas yeah, the time and energy that goes into latex is definitely worth it. But you know, it's up to you. Entirely up to you is what we are saying. So, I hope this quick little video helped and yeah, if you guys have any more questions to ask me, I guess ask me and I'll try and throw out another video.